Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And as usual, I'll be using frequent separation to edit one of these images. I did a behind the scenes uh, some time ago and I promised that I will be editing a few of the images. So these are the favorite um, pics basically from the session. So I'm not sure which one of these images I'll be editing today, but let's see. I've picked 10 so far that I like, and I'm just going to work on one right now in this video. How about this one? All right, so I'm going to edit this one right now. So I'm going to click um, edit in Photoshop, and now it should pull up in Photoshop. Perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, the first thing I'm gonna do is to crop this image. I'm gonna crop it using the crop tool here. I'm gonna ensure that it's a four to five ratio crop. So it fills the entire screen when I upload it to Instagram. Perfect. All right, so the next step now is to, uh, you know, I'm gonna work on the color grading of the image before I start frequent separation. So I'm gonna create a copy. So I'm gonna just drag it down to the section here that will create a copy. Then I'm gonna go to filter and go down to camera raw filter. Then I'm gonna press auto and see what it looks like. Auto looks okay, I think I like auto. Uh, I'm just gonna make some fine tune adjustment. But before I do that, let me try one of my uh, presets, my, what do I call this again? My, camera preset to see if any one of them actually works good for the image and you can download this preset from my website well these presets i have three of them i think it's this one this one and this one three of them all right i don't think i like any of these presets or maybe i could use one you know what i'm gonna use this one and then i'm just gonna adjust it all right so i'm gonna come back here and then i'm just gonna make some adjustments to it because i have too much D haze and I'm gonna come down here and then I'm gonna adjust the uh blue in the collaboration just a little bit like that good and then I'm gonna go back up to basic and I'm going to put some shadows in all right and then highlights down let's show you the before and after while I'm doing this and um contrast back a little bit like that perfect um, you can do the color grading whenever you want. You want to do it when you open the photo. You want to do it after you do frequent separation. It's all up to you. All right. I'm going to... I think I'm okay with, with, with the adjustment so far. So I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to go to frequent separation. Oh, before I even do that, let me just create a new copy. And I'm just going to uh, go to the patch tool. And I'm going to remove any blemishes from the skin. All right. So I'm going to start with this. All right. And I'm going to learn to do micro dodge and burning. One of my subscribers asked, you know, uh, that I do micro dodge and burning for 2000 and um 22 i am going to learn it because trust me micro dodge and burning is awesome i want to learn it so bad so i am going to attempt it this year so i'm going to practice and i'm going to practice with you guys so you're going to see all the mistakes that i'll be making doing micro dodge and burning because no one is perfect you know and we have to learn somewhere, somehow. All right, so I'm gonna go to frequent separation here. I am going to press three for the radius and then press okay. I'm gonna go to mixer brush. Mixer brush is normally nested on the brushes. Uh, for my wet is going to be three. For my load is gonna be 75, mix 90 and 100 for the flow. I'm just gonna zoom up a little bit. I'm gonna start with the face. I'm going to go down to the low layer and while on the mixer brush, I'm going to get it smaller by using the bracket. You can use the left and right bracket on your keyboard to get the brush smaller. I want my image to look as natural as possible, hence using the uh, 
mixer brush all right so let's look a before or after for this before after good so i'm gonna come down to the arm do the same thing so all i'm doing is just blending the skin what i learned though for some models skin you don't want to mix the entire image to be and to be honest or the entire area you just want to blend out certain areas because it looks weird sometimes i've edited images and i tried to mix the entire area and trust me it doesn't look good at all so using the mixer brush and frequent separation and some images varies so you have to you know take your time and make the adjustments and see what look best for whatever image you're using i think it's because of the environment when you're shooting you know that may cause it not to the skin to look a certain way when you're making your adjustments all right let's come over here now All I'm trying to do is to blend out the skin. For this year, I want to ensure that I do more videos because trust me, guys, I am I have been so busy and I haven't got the chance to do any personal projects. These are personal projects, so she's not a client. She's just... Um, a talent that I saw I know I've known her for some time and she I asked her if she would like to do a shoot and she said yes so we're doing this so it's best it's it's a good idea for you to do personal projects or test shoots so you can build your portfolio or you can practice you understand so consider that at all times because you know not all the time you're able to post your clients on your page so you want to do your personal projects and ensure that they sign a photo release so it gives you the permission to um, use the photos on your website or any social media do not take word of mouth trust me guys I've been through it I've been through I've I've worked with models and for some reason they no longer want their images to be on the internet and because I did not have an agreement with them I have to take it down like a, a signed agreement so you don't want to be in that situation even your clients you have to ensure that you have a signed agreement with them all right so let's do the before and after good uh, what i want to do now i want to fine tune it so i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to delete this frequent separation action that i've created because if i try to create another one it's going to mess up the entire image while one is already activated i'm going to leave this at 6.4 and i'm just going to go over the entire thigh just to blend it out not too much right that's it perfect all right so what i'm going to do now let me just do the arm as well good what i'm going to do now is uh, apply dodge and burning so i'm going to start with the dodge so dodge is basically highlighting um areas so i'm going to press b on the keyboard for the brush and then i'm just going to uh, well, my opacity is at 100% and my flow is at 1%. I'm just going to slightly add highlights to the leg. And thigh. Good. I'm going to do the arm as well. Just like that. So I am done. I'm going to go to the burn now and just going to apply a little burning right there. 
right there not too much i think that's too much i'm just gonna lower the opacity for the burn a little bit don't want too much all right good so let's look at the before and after for that real quick so before and after all right uh the next step now is to i want to put some clothes in the background here so i'm going to create a new layer again and then i'm going to go over to edit and i'm going to go to sky replacement and i think i like this already let me just lower the opacity for this one so like that i think i like that okay i'm gonna press okay all right uh one more thing i'm gonna do some li liquefying right now so i'm gonna go to the liquefy tool i think it's under yeah filter liquefy and then i'm gonna select i don't know the name of this tool right here okay it's called the push left tool so just want to ensure that we have everything here perfect so it's gonna slightly adjust this all right good and then right here gonna push this down a little bit some more just uh, oh that's too much I'm bring it back slightly all I'm trying to do is just make a perfect curve. So you don't want to do too much. You don't want it to look fake. You just want to make a perfect curve. Oh, this is not going well. Let me get my brush bigger and see if that makes a difference. All right, I think I like that. So this is the before, this is the after. perfect no i'm gonna press that then i'm going to i should have created a copy of what i've just done because right now we want to fix this line right here but that's fine i'm just gonna do this well no don't have to do that all i have to do is just get the patch tool and make and paint back the area there perfect i'm done nothing else there needs to be done all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go back to i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to go back to frequent separation like, well not frequent separation i'm going to go back to filter camera raw and i'm going to pull down the temperature a little bit for the white balance just a little bit good um for the blue i'm going to play with the blue in the uh color mixer so some blue right there perfect um don't think there's anything else there for me to adjust i think this is fine i love this so that's it for the image but let me just show you the before and after right next to each other put it right there i think i need to go to view is it view or windows windows then arrange then vertical up good so for this is going to be the before so good so that's the before and that's the after so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something new from this we could also remove this thing here from off the ground if you want it all depends sometimes i don't really care about removing stuff from it even if it's distracting <laughs> it's all about what you want but thank you guys for watching stay tuned for another video next week Bye bye